Hey guys, welcome to Waypoint X. My name is Judd and for today's video, we have a Jeep walk around video for you. So here we go. Hey guys, we're out here in Birmingham, Alabama at the Vulcan Park. Uh, we've got our friend Kyle here to show us uh, his Jeep, uh, do a little Jeep walk around. Uh, we're excited to see what his, his uh, different mods are and uh, what he's got on his Jeep. So, uh, what Jeep do you have? What year? Um, is it a Rubicon? Is it a Sport? And uh, we'll just go over a uh, bumper and lights right here on the front. Uh, it's a 2014 uh, JKU Rubicon X. Uh, it's a hard rock bumper. It's got uh, the Rigid Lights, Radiant Series, front and uh, it's got a Smitty Thimble on the front. It's got the bull bar. Uh, I removed the side inserts on it. It's got Pro Comp headlights and JW turn signals. It looks good for sure. So you said this is a, how, how big of a winch you said? Uh, it is a Smitty X20 9,500 pound winch. Awesome, awesome. Well, it looks good. Okay, so uh, what do we got here for uh, Wheels, tires, you, looks like you got some different fenders up here and suspension. Uh, yeah, these are Fuel 70 by 9s wrapped in 37s, uh, Nitto tra Trail Grapplers. Uh, the suspension is a Rubicon Express 2.5 inch lift. Uh, Armor Smitty XRC uh, body armor. Uh, it's got the Smitty XRC inner fenders with the KC Cyclone Rock Lights. Yeah, I actually have these same uh, Cyclone uh, Rock Lights on my Jeep. They really light up the ground really well, so I like them. They make it so much easier for trail riding at night. Yeah, we're gonna have to get on the trail at night for sure. So what's the deal? I see right here, we see a money pit. So what's the what's the story behind that? Well, it's a Rubicon, so I named it Ruby, and my wife made fun of me. So therefore she named it Money Pit, and it kind of stuck, and I went with it. <laughs> Jeeps are for sure money pits. Uh, we know that very well. Yes. <laughs> so do you have any uh, things that you're wanting to do differently up here? What, what kind of gears are you running? Uh, I'm running stock 14 gears right now. Uh, eventually, be, I'm about to upgrade them to a Yukon 513s. Okay. Uh, I've got a suspension on the way, a uh, Rubicon Rock Crawler, four and a half inch, Solid. three point, uh, and also getting custom Adams drive shafts made. Yeah, we have the Adams uh, drive shaft front and rear, and we actually have the Rock Crawler kit too. So uh, it's a good kit. I've heard lots of good good things. Oh about yeah, it. you're gonna abuse it, and it's gonna be there. So it's gonna keep sure. going. Absolutely. <laughs> So it looks like you have some um, armor right here and you got the rear fenders. What, what we got? Uh, this is Smitty XRC uh, body cladding as well as the rear Smitty XRC uh, body armor. Uh, have, have you scraped them up any yet? Yes, I've hit several trees and a few rocks and they're still there. So no I know, body damage. I know we talked about 37s. Is it you like the 37s? Do you ever want to go bigger or you kind of stuck at the 37s. I want to go 40s. 40s the ultimate goal I want to go. So 40s is probably where I'm going to go next once I get the gears and the uh, lift done. Yeah, that's that's where we're at. We're kind of stuck between you know steering and different components to go to those 40s. But yeah, we want to go to 40s too. That's that's where it is. It's gonna make trail riding so much more fun. Point and shoot. That's it. Point. You keep going. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right. So what we got going on back here? It looks like we got some uh, different lights. We even got some lights on the back and CB. Uh, the tail lights are JW speaker tail lights. Uh, the stock ones aren't that bright, so I went with JW. Uh, I've got rigid lights on a switch, uh, so I can use them from when I'm out trail riding. Uh, I've got the bottom uh, rigid uh, lined up to my reverse lights because the reverse lights aren't that bright in the JK at all. Um, I've got an AFE Scorpion high flow exhaust. Uh, I've got the RC tramp stamp on and got the five stick CB uh, antenna manner to it. Uh, I got rid of my fifth wheel. Uh, I think it looks a lot cleaner that way. I'm gonna have it tire mounted inside. I like that, that look a lot better. I like the clean look too, but I've always worried about getting, uh, you know, breaking down, having a hole in the in the tire and not having a spare. But you said you're gonna mount it eventually in, inside. I'm gonna mount it eventually inside the uh, cargo area. That's been a worry of mine. I've just been lucky so far. 
and much, much, not much is going to penetrate 37s, hopefully. Hopefully, so, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully been a key word. Hopefully. <laughs> I got you. Awesome, awesome. It looks great. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Well, Kyle, what's going on inside? It looks like we got a cage, possibly a super chips over there. Uh, CB, what we got? Uh, I've got the poison spider uh, roll cage, powder coated to match. Uh, I've got the Bearcat CB to help keep track on the trails. Uh, I've got the rock hard harness bar, uh, allows me to five point uh, with some Corbo reclinable seats. Uh, I've got the Corbo five point harness as well. Uh, I've got the Super Chips Trail Dash 2, uh, which is amazing on saving gas and retuning these Jeeps. Awesome. Looks like you got some WeatherTech uh, floor liners in here. Keep, uh, keep all the mud out, out of the carpet. Try to keep all the mud out of the carpet. Yeah, it's, it's real hard. I also <laughs> see you got a nice little big old crack across the windshield. It looks like it just comes with the territory of owning a Jeep. That's it. This is my second windshield, and I will place it, and I'll probably crack the third one as well, and that's just part of owning a Jeep. <laughs> Great. All right, Kyle, so uh, what do we got up under the hood? It looks like we got some uh, switches, some air, possibly intake. Uh, yes, I've got the, I got a Canyon air intake. Sounds mean works wonders uh, helps that gas mileage out I've got a rough country MLC 6 uh, switch controller it's pretty good I can leave my lights on without the car cranked and it monitors my power consumption uh, and most importantly while you're off-roading I got the uh, ARB onboard air uh, that is a must to air up and air down when you're off-road well it looks good uh, I see I went the power tank so you know going up to 40s you might might have to upgrade I, I'm going to have to upgrade because 37 takes me about mm, seven minutes a tire, so <laughs> power tank's the way to go, but a quick and easy solution, that's oh, definitely absolutely, worth it. absolutely, absolutely. They make a really good system. They really do. Well, Kyle, you have an amazing looking Jeep. It looks like it can definitely hit the trail and go about anywhere you want it to. Um, so we have, just have a few questions for you. Uh, what's your favorite mod or, or thing that you've done to your Jeep? If I had to say the favorite mod, it would probably be between two the rock lights uh, are the poison spider cage i really do like that a lot yeah we're wanting to go to a cage very soon too uh next one is what if you had to do something completely over again start from scratch what would you do i would probably change up my rims i love fuels i would have probably went with a different model i wanted a little bit brighter rim to make it pop out a little bit but that's probably the only thing i could really want to do different on this jeep okay and so what's next what's the next thing for the jeep uh, i know as having a Jeep, you're always building, there's always something better out there. What's the new thing that you're looking for? Uh, the next thing I'm probably gonna be doing is the Rock Collar uh, four and a half, three link, uh, along with the uh, 1350 Adam drop shafts and uh, Yukon 513s. I'm gonna do all that at once and see what it does. And see where you're at next? See, see where I'm going next for Money Pit. I understand, awesome. Well, we really appreciate it. We thank you for coming out here and showing off your Jeep. Um, so hopefully we can get some more Jeeps to come do some walk around videos, but we're really excited and we really appreciate it. Not a problem, not a problem at all. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey guys, thank y'all for checking out today's video. We really do appreciate it. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up and a comment below and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you know when new content is being released. So we hope you have a wonderful day and where is your next destination?